Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Drunk Crafts with Paige. I am drinking today a peach margarita. You can't see it in said red cup, but it's pretty good. As you know, I usually, I drink mar margaritas most times along with ciders, but today I'm pretty excited because I have a new setup going. Um, I've got two different cameras recording me, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I've got one down, hello, one down near, closer to the canvas, and then I've got one up above me. Um, I don't know, when I did smaller stuff like the Dutch pours and string art and uh, just things you guys needed to see more close up. I liked having the camera down below, um, but I also kind of just missed the overhead shot. So we've got both going on and we also have some different material today. We have a wood canvas panel um, that we're gonna be doing a, I think we're gonna go with a ring pour today. Um, so we're going to be doing that on this. As you can see, I have taped up the edges. Uh, so the back and the sides will stay nice and clean. And yeah. So I have already mixed up all of my paints on the side over here. We've got a car cornucopia, carnacopia. <laughs> of different colors over here. Um, we've got a bright yellow, orange, purple, light blue, and a darker blue. And I have a specific order. I want to try to put these in, into the cup. And I'm also going to be, once I get the ring in there, I may put some white around the edges, just so I have some white cells pop up. Um, but we'll see. I've got it mixed up and ready to go if that's what we choose to do. So, like I said, these are already, wipe off my popsicle sticks. Um, goodness, cat. I don't know if you could hear that cat scratching on his little scratchy post down here. But anyway, these are all mixed up, have silicone in them, and are ready to go. And now I remember to take out my popsicle stick this time. I always forget to take out the popsicle sticks. So we're going to start out with the yellow and I'm going to pour it down the side of the cup because I want it to stay kind of in this particular order. So I'm not going to be like splashing them down on top of each other. So there was orange and now purple. Woo! The light blue. Try to not hover it over the canvas. And the dark blue. And now that they're all in here, we're going to do a ring pour. Maybe I can get any of those colors off. Like splattered everywhere. There's like little flecks of the paint. So, all right, here we go. Wow, that was like the messiest start ever. All right, so there's the ring. And I'm gonna add some white around the edges. A 
I am gonna, when I lift this up, I'm gonna try to push my cups out of the way because if I tilt over top the cups, it's just gonna, the back of my canvas is gonna end up covered in paint, which I was trying to prevent that by taping it off. Is that annoying? <laughs> Probably. It's not fun for anyone to hear. I would. Who enjoys the Jeopardy song? Alright, we're slowly getting it to where I want it to. The, uh,. The tail end of this came out like really messy. So I'm trying to get rid of some of it. The, um, the light blue and I think the yellow and kind of the orange ended up mixing to make like a weird brownish green color. Here, I'll show it to you guys real quick. So. I'm trying to get rid of where that center was. Or at least, you know, kind of get rid of more of it. Alright, so there's one, two, three. Needed more paper towel. I say it like almost every video. You can just wear gloves. And then, do I wear gloves? No. No, I don't. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use my heat gun to torch it a little bit. So I like some of these cells that popped up and I don't want to take the time to like sit there and tilt the whole thing over again. And I do have the white on the edge. So I'm going to like, I'm just going to very gently try to blow it over the edge. So I don't have like white sitting on my corners. <laughs> I dunked a whole whole bunch of my hair in the paint while doing that. <laughs> you can see my hair prints. Oh. Alright, there's less white. Now this final corner.
can't believe I dunked my hair in the paint. That's a first. I have leaned too far forward and uh, dunked my boob, but I have not dipped my hair in yet, and I'm kind of disappointed that I broke that streak. Anyway, I'm going to heat it up again. Like you can see some of the orange, the yellow, the purple, and a little bit of the like darker shades of blue. I don't know. We're gonna, we're, we'll drink for a second. I don't know. I feel like when I touch things, I have a tendency to ruin them. I think that's wood. No, it wasn't wood showing through. I actually, for a hot second, thought it was canvas. And then I realized we're painting on wood, not like, you know, the regular old plumbus canvas. Um, so I think I'm just going to leave it. It looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll show you guys from my perspective from this way. It looks like there's fire, sort of, and then it goes down to water. I wanted, I really did want more of the orange and purple, and I'm a little bummed that it got enveloped, but, like, I wanted this bright orange all down here, and I think maybe because I tilted it so much, it kind of, it went away a little bit. So, I do see some bubbles popping up. And so I might uh, retorch it a little bit later, but I think for now, I am just gonna leave it. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit before I go and take the tape off. And I'm still toying around with the idea of wanting to top coat this with resin. I've seen many a piece on a wooden, uh, wooden panel that um, gets like top coated in resin and maybe even like the sides painted gold, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to go in that direction yet. So we're gonna let this sit and um, yeah, we'll revisit it in a little bit. Our piece is totally dry now. I kind of rearranged it so you guys could see what I was talking about, that like this upper part sort of looks like flames. Um, I don't know. Still not sure how I feel about it. Uh, the colors kind of darkened a little because, you know, I, I put them on wood and it kind of got absorbed. So I think I'm going to go ahead and top coat it with some resin. I've got my Total Boat resin over here, my heat gun on standby um, to heat out all the bubbles. I've also got, I'm going to do gloves this time. <laughs> because resin is way harder to, to clean off than paint is. So we're gonna put a resin top coat on this. Um, and I think that will go ahead and brighten brighten the paints back up. And I also, I retaped the side, or well, I guess all the sides. I retaped up now that the paint has dried. Um, this time I didn't tuck it like up underneath. I didn't tape it to the bottom of the canvas because I want the resin to pour off and down the tape and onto the 
onto my mat. Um, I want to keep the edges and the bottom clean and I just want this very thin layer, the top piece of wood where the paint is. That's the only piece that I want covered in resin. So we're going to go ahead and speed through that because mixing resin is not super enjoyable to watch. Here she is, everybody, all beautiful and resined up. I wanted to show you guys near a window so you can see how super glossy and it looks super cool. All these different shades of blue and everything. Um, all the colors kind of dulled a little bit after they dried on the wood. Um, probably could have been uh, prevented by either a top coat or you know, I think the resin kind of brightens everything back up again. So, got a couple small leaks beneath the tape, but nothing too major. It makes it look nice and clean and gorgeous. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. Or you could also hit that notification bell to receive uh, updates when I post new videos. Um, what else? Also, you could follow me on Instagram. I'll post some cool photos of each of these finished products. And I will see you all next time.